Cruz. Welcome to our little tale of woe, triumph against impossible odds, terror, and managerly responsibility. Our story begins in the calm waters above the town of Bikini Bottom. As we descend beneath the waves, we find another day. Wait a minute! Hold your seahorses! I can't believe this is happening here! It's horrible! Oh, thank Neptune, my manager's here! Talk to me, Krabs. It started out as a simple one. A Krabby Patty with cheese. So what went wrong? When the customer took a bite. No cheese! Oh, this has never happened before! Get a hold of yourself, Eugene. I'm going in. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. section on the options menu.
I'm the manager of this establishment, everything is gonna be just fine. I'm really scared, man. You got a name? Phil. <laughs> Come on, Phil, stay with me. I've only got one shot at this. Gotta have the right tools for the job. Bingo. I want you to do me a favor, Phil. What? Say cheese. Ah, uh, the beginning. A little yellow friend awakes from his slumber and prepares for the biggest day of his life. Yet despite his dreams, he is not honored with the manager position of the new Krusty Krab 2. So he sulks off to drown his depression in ice cream at the local Goofy Goobels across the street. Jealous of Mr. Krab's success, the diabolical plankton hatches Plan Z. He steals King Neptune's crown and frames Mr. Krabs for selling it to the far off and dangerous land of Shell City. Let us now join our heroes in the midst of their self pity. Hey. Hey, buddy. Come on. Wake up. Huh? Where am I? It's 8 in the morning. Closed. Go collect your friend and get out of here. Hey, buddy! Come on up here and join the party! SpongeBob!
Patrick, I've been trying to find you all evening. Uh, it's 8 in the morning, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, 8 o'clock. I am late for work. Mr. Krabs is gonna kill me. <sighs> Mr. Krabs. Back at the Krusty Krab, King Neptune confronts Mr. Krabs about his alleged thievery. He asks if there is anyone present who may vouch for Mr. Krabs' character. And our yellow knucklehead McSpazitron shows up to accuse Mr. Krabs of being a horrible person. 
King Neptune zaps Mr. Krabs, causing SpongeBob to sober up quickly. He selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the King's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs in place, King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve, so SpongeBob and Patrick may attempt to retrieve the crown. King Neptune's daughter Mindy provides SpongeBob and Patrick with a magic mirror through which she can communicate and assist our heroic duo. We continue as SpongeBob and Patrick arrive at the Paddy Wagon. SpongeBob, Patrick, it's time to start your journey. Drive the Paddy Wagon. This road will take you through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. Don't let the paddy wagon take too much damage, or you'll have to start again. Our journey begins. Epic, heroic, daring, valiant, courageous! SpongeBob, you're driving a sandwich. Not just a sandwich, a Krabby Patty! With cheese!
now you can go on to the next part of your journey. Here's your reward. Come back again if you want another driving challenge. <laughs> With the chaos of Bikini Bottom behind them, SpongeBob and Patrick begin their long journey towards Shell City. However, with SpongeBob gone, all is not well. Plankton is now selling the Krabby Patty at the Chum Bucket, and with every purchase, customers are getting a mind-controlling bucket helmet. Squidward has discovered Plankton's plan to create an army of bucket heads. Will Squidward save the day? No. On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals who tell them they will not last long outside the city. But our friends do not listen. They should have listened. Our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation. the desert next to this one. Oh! Well, in that case, I'll have those towers shut down in a jiffy. Daisy!
I found one last spot with those ugly planks for propaganda towers. Use whatever you can find to knock them down. The last of Plankton's propaganda towers are here on the edge of the desert. Oh, breathtaking and evil! These traps form part of a slide through this area. I need you two to race down them and knock those towers over. Sounds kind of hard. Don't worry, guys. Stay on the track, jump over obstacles, and hit any plankton signs you see along the way. Good luck. Is it to tell us that the is still running? What do
I know you guys can do it. Here's your reward. <laughs> Our heroes, having foiled Plankton's evil plans, continue across the desert. But Plankton remains one stubby step ahead of them. He sends someone to make sure that they will fail. He is a vicious, ruthless killer named Dennis. Fortunately, SpongeBob and Patrick have discovered the paddy wagon in a parking lot. But the key is missing. So the only thing to do is to go into the rough, tough bar and look for it. Good luck, my friends. You're going to need it. You have to get the piece of padding back in that. Good news, Patrick! You've got enough Cookie Goober tokens for me to teach you a new ability. My flop is the mightiest flop of all! It's called the Bad Smash. In the air? Yes, you have to be in the air for the Bad Smash to work. You can use it to press buttons, break through floors, and even defeat enemies. The paddy wagon is parked outside, but you'll need to get the key back to use it. That doesn't sound hard. You'll probably have to defeat all of the thugs to get to it. That sounds hard. You can do it, I know you can. If you believe in me, then I can do it. The, the key, key to the paddy to the wagon. Paddy wagon. Careful. Easy. You got it! <laughs> Beware of the creep! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so 
Cycle!
already.
The gates are locked. You'll have to find all the keys to unlock the gates. The gates out to the main road are locked. Locked? Then how can we drive out? For the paddy wagon and bust through the gates! Sorry, Patrick. For that, we need a super crabby paddy deluxe. You can unlock the gates if you find all the keys around the track.
SpongeBob and Patrick, here is your reward. Patrick, we gotta start acting like men. SpongeBob. I'll be right back. Wait! Wait, mine chocolate. I'll have two chocolate banana splits with sprinkled fairy stars and goober beans with extra sauce, please. Uh, you can let go now. I said let go, please. <laughs> what kind of old lady are you? I'll save you, Smudgebug! was vanquished by an even more hideous creature coming from the deep ocean trench. Well, we lost our car again. Never mind the car. Where's the road? There's the road on the other side of the deep, dark, dangerous, monster-infested trench. <laughs> After gulping, SpongeBob and Patrick decided to throw in the towel. Luckily, Mindy arrived and showed them what was really going on back in Bikini Bottom. Plankton had transformed Bikini Bottom into Planktopolis. The sight of their city convinced our heroes to continue on to Shell City. So, in order to become men, they cried like little babies. But someone was hot on their tail. With no time to lose, Princess Mindy thought of a better idea. And our heroes quickly became men and marched toward the treacherous trench. going to need to cross the bottom of the trench. You can get to the bottom using this slide. The only way across the trench is along the bottom, but you have to get there first by traveling down the slide, past those sea monsters. Oh, the trench is pretty deep. I'm very dark. Oh, no sweat, Mindy. We're men now. Those sea monsters wouldn't scare a guppy. 
That's the spirit. Now get down there as quickly as possible.
place is full of horrible, hideous, and disgusting monsters. You've got to cross the trench to get to Shell City. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. You don't have enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to give you the Sponge Bowl. You'll need the Sponge Bowl to defeat the monsters here. Sponge Bowl? Uh, will the cereal bowl do? Sorry, SpongeBob, but you need more Goofy Goober tokens. Wanna try a time challenge? I'm challenged all the time. Good one, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? You'll have a set time limit to get to the end of the rope. If you finish in less than the set time, I'll reward you.
Do you want to try a time challenge? I'm challenged all the time. Good one, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? You'll have a set time limit to get to the end of the road. If you finish in less than the set time, I'll reward you. challenge for you. Mindy, we're ready! What do we do? Rings will appear on the road. Go through each ring before it disappears. If you get through them all, I'll reward you.
since you beat the other challenges so easily, I have a tough one for you. Easy? Uh, yeah, it was easy. Oh, very easy. All right, I'll give you a hard time to beat. Get to the end of the road in less than the set time. on this road. We'll do it, Mindy. Nothing can distract us. Wheels on the petty wagon go round and round.
guys took a while going down the slide the last time. I like to stop and smell the anemones. And old tires. Well, try sliding quickly instead. If you make it under the allotted time, you'll earn a reward. Thank <laughs> you. 
How fast do you two think you can swap? Okay. Beat the manly time down the slide, and you'll be rewarded. Get down the slide in less than a manly time, and you'll be rewarded. Did you stop the time that the train was still running around here? Either way, Patrick! Here comes the pain! 
You have to race against the clock. Well, that sounds easy. How fast can a clock go? Patrick, don't you know that time flies? <laughs> no. For once, I didn't take out the garbage for a month, and it had flies. You'll have to fly along if you want to beat this time. Do three laps in less than set time, and I'll give you a reward.
won the time challenge. <laughs> I have a ring challenge for you. Is it me a ring? Yes, a whole lot of rings. They'll appear as you drive along the way. You have a limited time to drive through each ring. If you go through all the rings, I'll reward you.
to do three laps in less than the set time.
job, guys. Now I can give you a reward. <laughs> In this challenge, you can try to be your own best time. At last, the ultimate challenge! Let's do it! Want another Goofy Goober token? Sorry, we don't have any to spare. Patrick, she meant, do we want another token? Right. Get to the bottom of the slide as quickly as you can. If you beat the time, I'll reward you.
She's hot. Patrick, I think she can hear you. Listen up, you two. As you're sliding, rings will appear along the way. You have a limited time to get through each ring. Get through every ring, and I'll give you a reward. You've 
earned it. I've got challenges. Well, we've got skills. We do? Oh, can I have mine now? Please, please, please. Well, if you can beat this manly time down the slide, you will be rewarded.
Bop. Get down the slide and... Down the slide in less than the manly top. Yeah. 
kite sliding. Here is your reward. The last challenge of this slide is to beat your own time. But how can we beat our own time? Our best time will always be our best time, so we'll never beat it. Huh? I understand. Try our best to best our best time and be the best test. Just try beating your previous best time. tokens to earn your next ability, the Sponge Bowl. Strike-o-matic! Oh, I forgot my spoon. No, Sponge Bowl. It's really useful on things you don't want to get too close to. Those nasty bucket heads must be stopped. Shell City is on the other side of this dark, scary place. Real men aren't afraid of the dark. You need to get across this trench. Real men aren't afraid of the trench. Of course they're not. Just look out for monsters. Shh, monsters! A starfish. Hey. 
That is how SpongeBob and Patrick escaped the trench full of hideous, disgusting monsters. Meanwhile, Dennis continues to follow our heroes. Some unsavory types attempt to get in his way, but he manages to reason with them. And so, like two tin cans in a trash compactor, SpongeBob and Patrick continue on, blissfully unaware of the danger closing in on them. Standing in their way is a field full of stanky garbage. But with Shell City somewhere on the other side, they have no choice but to push on. Plankton is using those televisions to brainwash unsuspecting ocean creatures. You must destroy those televisions. Patrick, you've collected enough Goofy Goober tokens. Now with improved targeting! Okie dokie! Plankton's using those TVs to try and trick people to come to Bikini Bottom. If they go, they'll become slaves in his army. If only there was something I could do! You have to destroy the TVs! Who knows how many people Plankton will enslave if we don't? Never fear, Mindy! I'm an expert at knocking stuff down! Man 
Terminus has landed.
sure I've been throwing out a lot of TVs lately. Just like Lucky Boy Ice Cream. If you can't see anything, I suppose don't blow your nose into your head. Slipping, slipping, slipping!
Are you your worst nightmare a big pile of broccoli name's Dennis I was hired to kill you look buddy I hate to burst your bubble but you're talking to two men here we don't have time for these silly games so if you could just step aside <laughs> oh, help me, Patrick. don't worry buddy I'll save you Oh, 
Finally, I got you right where I want you. That's a big boot! Don't worry! This'll only hurt a lot! <laughs> I love this job! Bigger boot! Wait, Beth! This bigger boot saved our lives! Yay! Thank, Thank you, you stranger. stranger! It's the Cyclops! Run! And so, SpongeBob and Patrick escaped the clutches of the mad, murderous Dennis. Only to be captured by the even more hideous Cyclops. And then, they passed out. Awakening in a dreamy, goofy goober wonderland where... Oh, wait a minute. Hey, it's the goofy goober. Patrick, there's the goofy goober himself. Oh boy. As I was saying, SpongeBob and Patrick continued on, allowing nothing to distract them. Goofy goofy goober goober now. Yeah. It's just a dream. Don't waste your time. Oh, go ahead. Only Goofy Goober knows the way out of Gooberland. The sea bottom's nuttiest place. Guys, Goofy Goober knows the way out of the amusement park. Follow Goofy Goober and don't lose him. Don't worry, Mindy. There is no chance of him getting away from us. Yep, we won't let him out of our sight. If he gets too far away from you, you'll have to start again.
Done, Patrick and SpongeBob. Here's your reward. She said my name first. <laughs> When SpongeBob and Patrick awaken from their sweet dreams of ice cream sundaes and dancing peanuts, they discover that they have become prisoners of the Cyclops. For you see, gentle viewers, our heroes had at long last made it to Shell City and had discovered its awful secret. Shell City was nothing more than a souvenir shop. Those who were captured were dried up and turned into smelly knickknacks. And that is precisely what was happening to our two friends. The situation seemed to be completely and utterly hopeless. But they were saved by the tear of the Goofy Goobill, as well as a conveniently placed sprinkling system. King Neptune's crown lay nearby, but our heroes still needed to escape the treacherous depths of Shell City and get past their most dangerous adversary, the Cyclops. Shell City? What a horrible place! But don't worry, there must be a way out. Good job getting the crown. Are you kidding? That was easy. Yeah, we are the manliest of men. Then what about the hopelessness? Hopelessness? The weeping? You must have been watching over someone else. Never mind. There's no time to waste. Find a way out of here, get past the Cyclops, and back to the Krusty Krab too.
Trail of debris in your wake, but you did make it, so here's your reward. Oh, <laughs> and so, after escaping the hideous fate that awaited them in the clutches of the Cyclops, SpongeBob and Patrick find themselves standing on the beach, staring out at the vastness of the ocean. How are we going to get back to Bikini Bottom? I can take you there. Who are you? I'm not a lifeguard, but I play one on TV. <laughs> so, uh, where's your boat? Boat? <laughs> Hooray! Nothing can stop us now. Bikini Bottom, here we come. Unidentified object off the hindquarters! Bigger boot? But how? 
Did you miss me? Ah! Oh, Dennis! adventures our heroes arrive back home but it is a much much different place from the one they left where there once was rolling green fields and bustling city streets there is now planktopolis a city as dark and twisted as the heart of its teeny tiny ruler all of bikini bottoms familiar faces are now covered by unfashionable mind controlling buckets and perhaps most horrible of all king neptune is at the crusty crab too preparing to fry Mr. Krabs. Bikini Bottom's only hope rests with a small yellow sponge and a pink sea star. Can they survive the dangers of Planktopolis? Ooh, let us hope so. tokens for me to teach you a new ability. You have a special power that you can use. I, uh, do? Yes, you have the power of music. Two hundred fifty-seven and a half watts of ear-splitting metal! The power of music! You can steer the sonic wave right to where you want it to hit. We did it, Mindy! We went to Shell City and got Neptune's crown! Oh, Spongebob, I knew you could do it. But my father is already at the Krusty Krab 2 on the other side of Planktopolis. Oh, no! There are bucket heads everywhere! How will we get through? I found out that Plankton is controlling the bucket heads using those giant statues. If we destroy them, we can break his control. Let's get it on. <laughs> Metal forged by the power of rock. Look at this place. <laughs> Go for it, then! Wow! 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 Wow!
long-distance communications.
one tough sponge. You know, I never can get enough of these. Super Sponge! Unstoppable! Up to Daisy!
late, SpongeBob. King Neptune is already at the Krusty Krab, too. He's all set to fry crabs, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> we'll just see about that. I'd love to stay in chat, but I've got a show to catch. Crazy, I love you. You won't get away with this, Plankton! <laughs> You're almost home, guys. All you have to do now is make it to the Krusty Krab. You'll have to go as fast as you can to avoid falling the break. SpongeBob, you're almost there, but you'll need the paddy wagon to make it through to the Krusty Krab. But Mindy, we lost the paddy wagon. I think I can bring it back, but you'll need more Goofy Goober tokens. Come back as soon as you can. I can bring back the paddy wagon, but you'll need more Goofy Goober tokens.
Well, hello there, SpongeBob. It's too quiet. I just be.
Bob, you've got enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to bring back the paddy wagon. I do? Well, that's great! Guys, you're almost done. The Krusty Krab is at the end of this road. Thanks for all your help, Mindy. Uh, yes, thanks for helping us. <laughs> Don't thank me yet. You'll have to hurry or the road will be blocked. Go as fast as you can and try to get past the falling debris. If the road gets blocked, you'll have to try again. shouldn't have stopped to spend our gift certificate to Dean's International Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Thank <laughs> you. 
time for you to die. <laughs> Not so fast, Plankton. I brought back King Neptune's crown, and I'm here to save Mr. Krabs. Nice work, SpongeBob. You made it all the way to Shell City and back. That's a heroic feat. Too bad it won't help. All hail, Plankton. Hey, King Neptune already has a crown. That's no crown, Patrick. It's one of Plankton's bucket hats. Plankton is controlling King Neptune. That's right. And now I'll have the pleasure of removing you along with your friends. Neptune, I command you to kill SpongeBob. Kill SpongeBob. All hail, Plankton.
idiot? Uh, no, no, uh, idiot. <laughs> uh, French for a uh, handsome man. <coughs> Eugene Krabs, it looks like you were innocent the whole time. Oh well, that's why pencils have erased. And now to thank the brave heroes who recovered my crown and saved Bikini Bottom, SpongeBob and Patrick, you have performed a manly deed. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mindy. I've learned a few things about myself. I may be a dork and a wingnut. A knucklehead and expasitron. Yes, but more importantly, I'm a kid, and I like being a kid. I'm just glad that everything is back to normal. And so ends the most heroic tale ever told in Bikini Bottom. And as the sun sets over the island paradise above the waves, we must stop and wonder how long until the sequel depends on the box office. Now go outside and get some sun. You look awful pale. Can you hear me now?
Watch your stuff. Oh, spider stuff.
You were wonderful out there. I was wonderful?
much of a bad woman I have to be. Looking for another challenge, eh? Okay? That's right. Real men like a challenge. And cookies. I'll give you a limited amount of time to get around the track three times. Beat the time, and I'll reward you.
Report. <laughs> Would you like another challenge? We'd love to take your challenge. At Goofy Goofy Tokens. As you drive around the track, rings will appear along the way. You have a limited time to drive through each ring. Drive through every ring, and I'll give you a reward.
This is the final challenge on this track. You can try to beat your own time. We are the fastest sandwich on the road. Wanna slide down there again? We already made it out. Why would we want to do that? I'll reward you. And duty comes. Excellent. Slide through there faster than the allotted time, and I'll reward you. Another challenge? I think we jumped through enough hoops for you, Mindy. Then how about jumping through rings instead? All right.
you learn this. Oh, <laughs> Come to prove you're a manly man. If not, we're gonna get sand kicked in our face at the beach. And towels shoved in our mouths. Yeah. Well, don't worry. If you beat the manly time down the slide, you'll be the manliest man on the beach. Except for... For more stuff? I'm kind of getting used to the place. Great! Then go ahead and beat your best time.
knows what this thing does. Please tell me.
motto.
looking for a more manly challenge? Okay, how about just a little more manly? Mini manly? I'll give you a limited amount of time to get to the end of the rope. Beat the time, and I'll reward you.
your reward. <laughs> Do you want another challenge? Yeah, we love a challenge. Love. Drive down the road and go through each ring as it appears. If you get through them all, I'll reward you. Great driver. Oh, thanks, Mindy. So you deserve a really manly time challenge. Really, really manly. All right, get to the end of the road in time, and I'll give you a reward. I'm not going to 
This is...
you guys. Here's your reward. Would you like to try and beat your best time on this road? We sure would, Mindy. And this time we won't get lost. Alright, crabs, time for you to die! <laughs> Not All hail, Plankton! Dodge, football dodge! Ow!
Kill him! Kill him, you idiot! Idiot? Uh, no, no! Uh, idiot! <laughs> uh, French for a uh, handsome man. <coughs> Eugene Caps! It looks like you were innocent the whole time! Oh well, that's why pencils have erased. And now to thank the brave heroes who recovered my crown and saved Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob and Patrick, you have performed a manly deed. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mindy. I've learned a few things about myself. I may be a dork and a wingnut. And Knucklehead McSpazitron. Yes, but more importantly, I'm a kid. And I like being a kid. I'm just glad that everything is back to normal. And so ends the most heroic tale ever told in Bikini Bottom. And as the sun sets over the island paradise above the waves, we must stop and wonder. How long until the sequel? Depends on the box office. Now go outside and get some sun. You look awful pale. Since the beginning of time, mankind has searched for answers to the big questions. Where did we come from? Is there life after death? Are we alone? But today, in this very theater, you will be asked to answer the ultimate question. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? <laughs> the SpongeBob SquarePants Movie. <laughs> Bigger, squarier, spongier. <laughs> the SpongeBob SquarePants Movie. <laughs> Oh. 
In the most remote location on Earth, thousands of feet below the surface, the unthinkable has happened. Talk to me, Krabs. Oh, it started out as a simple order. A Krabby Patty with cheese. So am I wrong? When the customer took a bite, no cheese! I'm going in. Now, the only thing that stands between an improperly made sandwich and a disaster is the courage of one sponge. Everything's gonna be just fine. Who are you? You got a family, Phil? <laughs> Come on, Phil, stay with me. Let's hear about that family. Bingo. What? Say cheese. <laughs> Order up! Three cheers for the manager! You may think SpongeBob SquarePants is just your average ordinary sea sponge. <laughs> but this November, <laughs> huh? when his entire world is threatened, I will rule the world! <laughs> well, good luck with that. He'll get the chance. Seize him! No! I won't let you! To become the hero. Step out of there! No one ever imagined. <laughs> Bigger. <laughs> squarier. <laughs> spongier. <laughs> the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Are they laughing at us? No, Patrick. They're laughing next to us. You gotta earn your extras in life, son. Welcome to our little tale of woe, triumph. You gotta earn your extras in life, my boy. Fish sticks! Articles! Are we there yet? Who are you? There you are, Patrick. Oh, I just found a French fry under the seat. Here comes the pain train. Goofy, 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 yeah! Who left this here? Talk about pretty rock formation, Patrick. This one's a beaut. The power of music. Metal forged by the power of talk. All sorts of things to waste our valuable time. With the chaos. Lots of toys to play. It started out as a simple A credit. Never heard it started out as a simple A credit penny with cheese. It sounds so fine. Strange. It's too quiet. I can feel this. Ah, 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 Such a whim. Now I am the master. Ooh, he's just ooh, he's macho. Back you! And that is our. I'm so proud of you. Um, no, I think that's the desert next to this one. Well, hello there, SpongeBob. Hello, Patrick. SpongeBob, thank you, Neptune. I mean, Dad. Where have you guys been? Then what about the homelessness? The weeping? 
come to prove you're up. You gotta earn your extras in life, my boy. Finally. Oh my god, I can't even walk. I can pay a picking over with the bottom. But it, ugh, ice cream makes me dizzy. In your face! Green bikini bottom, one hapless soul at a time. Somehow I had the feeling I'm being watched. Well, they may be fights, but they sure can dance. The best one. I have some evil limp. After hours, the goofy goofy sure is a lot less goofy. <laughs> Whoa! Here we go. Boom! SpongeBob, stop catching his knives with your face. Must reach. Maybe we shouldn't have stopped to spend our gift certificate to Dean's International Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. When s <laughs> hey, no, no, uh, idiot, French <laughs> for a uh, handsome man. Stop that! Your chops are too righteous. <laughs> Stop me now! Hey, sponge fool! Why don't you just give up? Hey, let's a little bit better. Come on, Patrick, it's so much nicer with a bucket helmet. You don't have to worry about hurting yourself thinking anymore. Attention! Citizens of Planktopolis want to report any sightings of a big pink idiot and a square yellow knucklehead McSpazitron immediately. All sorts of things with your valuable time. Think. So... Yay! Oh, toys! Kill him! Kill him, you...
Mom always said, if you can't see it... Try to beat your own best time. Ha, 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 ha. 